One of the most common questions we receive in the irrigation industry is how many sprinkler heads can you put on a line? The fact of the matter is it's a trick question. We don't have enough information. To understand the answer to the question, we must first have a basic understanding of the concept of hydraulics. Hydraulics is the science of water in motion. There are three key concepts that we need to have a basic understanding of in order to be able to answer the question about how many sprinkler heads you can put on a line. First of all, we need to know how much water and pressure we have available. Secondly, we need to understand how much water and pressure head a sprinkler head needs. And finally, we need to be able to manage the pressure lost through the various components of an irrigation system to make sure that that last head has enough water and pressure to make it work properly. So how do we know how much water and pressure we have available at the source? The easiest way to tell how much water you have available is to perform a simple test with a five gallon bucket. Time how long it takes to fill the bucket, perform some simple math, and you'll know how many gallons a minute you have available. To check the pressure, use a simple pressure gauge at either the backflow prevention device or the hose bib, and that will tell you how much pressure you have available at the source. Once the amount of water and pressure at the source is known, the next piece of information that we need to know to answer our question is how much water and pressure does the sprinkler head need to make it work properly? That kind of information is found in the manufacturer's catalogs. In the Hunter catalog, for example, for this particular rotor, if we look at a 4.0 nozzle, the manufacturer is telling us that it has an operating pressure range of between 25 and 65 PSI with the recommended pressure of 45 PSI highlighted in bold. For this nozzle, it's also telling us that the amount of water that that's going to take at 45 PSI is four gallons a minute. The last thing that we need to know is how to manage pressure loss. As water moves through the various components of an irrigation system, pressure is lost due to friction. A properly designed irrigation system will lose about 15 PSI if you're using a pressure vacuum breaker or about 25 PSI if you're using a reduced pressure assembly. Those numbers can be broken down as follows. Five PSI loss through the water meter, four PSI loss through the pressure vacuum breaker, or 14 PSI loss if you're using a reduced pressure assembly backflow, three PSI loss through the valves, two PSI loss through the mainline piping, and one PSI loss through the lateral piping. The one and two PSI loss through the PVC pipe is just a rule of thumb. To determine the specific amount of pressure loss, as well as water flow through a given size pipe, refer to the pipe sizing charts in the back of the manufacturer's catalog. Now, as you can see, the question of how many heads you can put on a line does not have a simple answer. You need to know how much water and pressure is available at the source, the water and pressure requirements for the sprinkler heads, and the water flow and pressure loss to be expected from the various components used in the irrigation system. If you'd like to learn more about hydraulics and irrigation design, sign up for one of our live seminars. Class information can be found on our website at ewingirrigation.com.